Hey guys, it's Jimmy. First day of install for solar. Um, installed so, about, a little bit more than half of the anchors for the racking. Got six over here on the garage. Um, I'll take you over and look at the other side of the roof. Uh, first, I'm just going to kind of talk through. I don't have a way to film while I'm working up here, unless I have somebody who's helping me, but I don't right now. So, uh, basically, all I had to do was figure out exactly where they go. I did all the math and the calculations about how many need to go in each, each um, like array, and um, basically. The, uh, you take you, one, once I once I marked out kind of where it is. I used a hammer to to kind of to pound, and you can tell the difference when you pound. There's it's louder where the where the rafters are, so um, that was that's good to know. Um, once I once I got the approximate location, I would drill a, drill a hole, and if I was right, I could tell. You can tell right away. Um, if I was wrong, then basically. I use a wire and kind of fish it through and turn it to figure out where the stud is or where the rafter is and drill that, drill it in that spot. Um, I was never more than um, about, you know, three quarters of an inch off so far. Um, and th then after that, at that point, then using a, a like a pry bar, um, you pry underneath the shingles just to loosen up the glue because shingles have like glue built in. I've, 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 I replaced this roof a couple years ago so that I've I'm very familiar with the, the makeup of that but basically you're just loosening the glue so that you can slide the slide this flashing right underneath the shingle to make sure that it's all waterproof um, and then you put a little sealant around it put a little sealant in the hole and then use a, use my impact driver and, and, and cinch it down um, there's videos online about going into depth about how how uh, how to do that, but it was it's pretty straightforward. And um, one thing I noticed was as I as the day went on and the sun was coming out a little bit more, it's been overcast here in general. But as the day warmed up and the shingles got a little bit more flexible and the glue got a little bit more flexible, it was a lot easier to get it loose, especially on the south side of the roof. They get where I'm gonna I'll go walk over there now, but it, it it bakes under there a lot more, gets a lot more sun, and um, those shingles were a lot more brittle when it was colder and the glue was a lot harder so it was, it was quite a process and I ended up to, to get the pry bar under there I'm actually on the south side at least I had to use a hammer and just like work it work my way through the glue until I could loosen it up like release it and then um, so I the first couple I did over there because of how brittle it was and I did it this morning um, I had to use some roofing sealant, I, bro I like cracked the shingle in a couple spots, but um, once I got the hang of it and once it started warming up, it was a, it was a lot easier. I'll, I'll take you over there and um, just so you can see kind of how far I am, but so yeah, here's, here's the south side of the roof. Um, I, uh, I actually snapped a chalk line once I got either once I measured either, and marked either end. I put I drove the uh, leg screw in and um, line to mark so I could get a nice straight line across. And the uh, the other good thing I found found out was that I could fit one more I could fit one more shingle on the roof based on on real life measurements versus the engineering design. So um, we're gonna actually update that in the permitting. Um, I contacted Project Solar and they were on top of it. Um, and the, uh, so it'll be nice to be able to fit um, six shingles instead of just five over there and it will look a little bit more consistent. It'll be more pyramid shaped over there. And I'll just take one of them from the from the front here. Um, not in the garage where I am, but I, on the other on the other part of the of the roof that I haven't done yet. But I'm hoping to get some more anchors on tomorrow, if if not all. I, I hopefully I can get all of them on tomorrow, and then it'll be getting the racking up here and making sure everything's straight and and parallel and everything and work from there. So just want to give a short update, and I'm gonna see you later.